Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott and I'm happy that you're here. And today's video is all about the most hype technology that you have heard of had, that you have heard of in the last uh, couple of weeks and months is AI. AI power powered tools and I bet you have heard all about ChatGPT and it was all across the news, right? So it was in the news, so um, it was the topic of 2023 so far. So ChatGPT was really pushing the AI technology to a new level. And I thought like, hey, hmm, maybe this is worth investing some of the tools out there on the market and to showcase you what kind of tools are available for us as software testers. But are those tools great for mobile testers? And this is something that I would like to take on uh, in this video. So I did some research and found many tools on the market that are worth checking and worth investigating. So let's take a news, uh, let, let's take a look at the tools that I found for you, that I investigated a bit upon what kind of features they provide. And here's a list of 10 AI, AI powered tools um, to get an overview for you and to dig deeper into a specific tool if you need something like that. So let's take a look. What is the first tool? So the first tool I would like to highlight is Testim. For those of you who missed it, I created a video already about Testim and the new capabilities in specific for mobile testing. Um, but to give you some more guidance on Testim or like to do some overview, here are a few points. So Testim was founded in 2016 and got purchased in 2020 by Tricentis. It has uh, record user flows and Testim AI will recognize repeated patterns and offer suggestions for you while writing the low-code test automation. It has a visual editor for easy test creation. It focuses on web and mobile projects for now. And last but not least, it's great reporting and test case management features. Yeah, for those of you who work already with Tricentis products, you know that they have usually a really great test management and test case management feature and reporting capabilities. And that's also part in Testem. So that's the first tool I would like to highlight in this video. So take a look at Testem.io to find out uh, all about the AI powered capabilities. Second one, Apply Tools. Apply Tools was founded in 2015 and it was basically, for, at least from my point of view, the first company who introduced visual AI testing. So uh, you can use it to, ex uh, to, to visually compare uh, screens with each other and to, to define what is the, the correct layout and what not and the, the visual AI um, that is uh, capable or like was, it was introduced in Apply Tools is able to, to see the differences and then give you some feedback on that. It has an excellent integration for many test automation tools uh, that are available on the market. So just Selenium and so forth and so forth, Appium, Cypress, whatever's out there, you can use it and integrate it with, with your tool set. And right in the test automation, you can say, hey, Apply Tools eyes, please verify the current state of the visual uh, of the visuals and give me some feedback. Yeah. So as I already said, the visual AI helps you to define uh, to find design issues on mobile, web, and desktop application, and I think that's really cool. And they are really uh, done, in, uh, really doing a great job in that. Also, it has a reporting platform for easy management of the test results. So, for for uh, for those of you who are interested in visual AI comparison, take a look at Apple Tools. The third tool I would like to talk about is AskUI. AskUI was founded in 2021. Uh, AskUI can automate everything basically from web to native desktop application. And this is also really great. I mean, also for you who have, haven't seen it, um, I created a re little reaction video on AskUI uh, where um, uh, Johannes is showing basically how to use AskUI and to automate a, a two factor authentication flow with AskUI. Pretty amazing stuff. Take a look at it. AskUI uh, and the AI that is implemented in there can find any visible element on a device screen. So there's no need of using um, object IDs, uh, selectors, path, whatever. AskUI, the AI powered in there is doing the trick for you. So that's cool. Take a look at it. So you don't need more selectors, as I just said. And it's the cool thing, it, it, can, it offers cross-device automation as possible, which I already mentioned with the two-factor um, authentication video I did in the past uh, weeks ago. So take a look at that. 
So what is next? Virtuoso. Also, for those of you who haven't seen my Virtuoso video, take a look uh, on a, either up in the, in the corner right here or check a look at the video description below to find all about Virtuoso. So Virtuoso was founded in 2016. It uses natural language to describe the test. So this is all, um, really just um, really well described in my video. So you can really use your natural language in order to write your test cases and your test automation. It has an AI powered self healing feature capabilities to reduce the flakiness in tests. So what does it do is whenever it sees that, um, um, for example, an, an, an ID object has been changed or a class has been changed, a class path has been changed, which we also is detecting these changes and is adapting your test cases accordingly. So you don't need to go there and do it manually on your own. So that's really cool. Uh, it uses a low-code approach and a really easy onboarding flow. So whenever you sign up to it, it's in a couple of seconds, not seconds, but minutes, you are ready to go with your very first uh, um, test automation case for web, web applications. It has lots of technical integrations and support for scripts, which is great. So you can do test data management, but also scripting it, uh, preparing scripts in order to uh, connect to third-party applications and to automate them as well. The next tool on the list is Mabel. Uh, Mabel was founded in 2017. It uses a local test automation approach. It offers a lot of features from auto healing to API testing. So a wide, wide variety of things that Mabel can cover. It has smart element locators that can be used in order to, uh, in different frameworks to build powerful tests. So it can also be integrated in your test automation suite to do some AI powered uh, testing for you. And it has lots of reporting features as well as many third-party integrations. So if you're interested in Mabel, take a look at the, at the URL uh, in the video description to find out all about Mabel. What else do we have? Quirus. Um, Quirus was founded in 2020. It is an end-to-end no-code or low-code testing platform for web, mobile and APIs. So it covers basically a complete set of, of uh, products that are um, implemented these days. So it's not only web and mobile, but also APIs. Uh, it uses AI to identify and fix broken tests. So it uses a similar approach than Virtuoso. Is, uh, let's call it also self-healing approach. So it identifies broken tests, maybe broken um, identifiers, and will fix it on the fly for you. Uh, it also has a really nice visual map so that uh, basically visually maps the user journey to understand the user traffic. So it can track what is the users doing with the application and then it visualizes you in a graph like, hey, these are the user journeys that are most used in your application and this can help you in order to focus your testing capabilities and your testing activities on those journeys. And last but not least, as also many of the other platforms or tools that I mentioned here is, it offers really great um, reporting, easy management for the test results and great third-party integrations. So take a look at Quirus as well. Uh, Aqua ALM, it was initially launched uh, as a test management platform in 2013. And I think it's the one of the oldest platforms in the tools that I picked uh, for you today. It has AI functionality in the beta state since 2022. So you see it's pretty new to the, to the AI powered testing tool market. Um, it also uses natural language uh, processing algorithms to turn plain text into test. So you can really write your, your test cases or your test automation scripts in plain text and AI is doing the magic for you and transferring everything to an automated script. 40% um, of AI generated tests need no human tweaks. That's from their web page. It says, so whenever you have like AI generated tests, you don't need to tweak them, at least 40% of them. So that's, that's, uh, that's a good number, I would say. It's a starting point, but maybe we, we need to get further to, to the 100% in the future as well. And the AI can generate test steps based on the description. That's cool. So you describe what you would like to have, and the AI is generating the test steps for you in order to yeah, start writing your scripts, uh, filling the gaps that are missing, and so forth and so forth. So take a look at Aqua uh, Cloud IO to find out more about it. Then we have Perfecto Scriptless. Um, Perfecto purchased Testcraft in 2018 to enter the AI testing world. Perfecto Scriptless is an enhancing the Selenium for AI, aut AI automation. It uses a low barrier of entry for using a no-code approach. So it uses completely no-code. 
you can easily uh, define your test cases, your test scripts uh, in the no-code approach. Uh, it has AI-powered reporting and third-party integrations. That's really cool. And last but not least, it can be used for web and mobile projects too. So if you would like to find out all about Perfecto Scriptless, take a look at Perfecto.io to find out more about it. Um, then we have the XLQ. Uh, XLQ was founded in 2014. Uh, it has an AI-powered uh, codeless test automation in the cloud or on the cloud. It has as well as all the other tools that I mentioned already, it has a low barrier of entry using a no-code approach. So you don't need to, to invest a lot of time in setting up the, the platform, the tools. You can just go ahead and use the no-code approach, uh, configure your application that you would like to test and then start right away with the, uh, with the test automation. Uh, it has an AI-powered object handling. So it identifies objects for you, there's suggest do's and suggestions and so forth and so forth. So to actually have this low barrier entry so you can really fast in, in, in writing your test scripts. Uh, it's an all-in-one solution from automation to test reporting. So it's a complete platform for you whenever you would like to work with AI-powered tools. ExcelQ might be something for you to look at. Then we have Functionize. Um, Functionize was founded in 2014. Uh, it uses a low-code AI-powered testing platform, or it, or it is an AI-powered testing platform. Uh, it uses as well as other tools I mentioned already, the natural language to describe the tests, which I think is a really cool thing to do because then you have like um, people outside of the technology department, like outside engineering, outside testing, to actually work with the tool in order to describe quality aspects. So being product managers, being designers, or even Users or stakeholders can define the things that they would like to have um, for the platform. Uh, it uses visual testing. It can be used in automated scripts to check the designs. So this is a similar approach than Apple tools. Uh, it offers self-healing features and many <coughs> third-party integrations as well. Yeah, and these were the 10 tools that I mentioned in today's video. Um, let me know what you think about them, about the tools that I mentioned. Mm. Do you have any other tools that you would like to, <coughs> oh, excuse me, that you would like to recommend um, to take a look at? If so, leave it down in the comment section. And while while doing the research on the tools, I found out that many of the tools that are highlighted here. And um, to be honest, this list is by no means complete, right? I mean, I, I did some quick research on the internet and found the tools there and addict on their on their websites and find out what are the, the product offerings. Some of them I tested myself already and the videos I mentioned, make sure to check the video description. But what I found out is that most of the, the two vendors out there were either long on the market, let's say more than or almost 10 years now, but now since let's say two years, they, they're going more into this AI, into this AI industry, AI powered toolings, AI powered functionalities. And I think now with ChatGPT that we have seen uh, in the in the previous weeks and also in the video I made uh, before that it, it, it really pushes AI market uh, to the next level. And I think that we will see much, much more AI powered tools uh, in the near future in, in our industry, in the testing industry, in the development industry. And I'm really looking forward to it because I think it's it's a really helpful and great addition to our craft. It can generate new testing ideas. Um, but as if you haven't seen my video on ChatGPT, uh, it's also something that you have to take with a grain of salt because um, the results that came out, come out of the AI might not be correct. So it's always helpful to use your brain to, to think about it, to use critical thinking approach in order to, to judge the, the results of the AI. Yeah, so that's important to know. Looking forward to your comments. Uh, leave me a thumbs up or leave a subscription if you like the video. And if you really have other tools that I should worth um, checking that are AI powered or offers really great AI functionality, let me also know in the comment section. I would happy to, to learn more about tools on the market and to learn from them. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.